Hello friends, today I will discuss the equivalent circuit of transformer. So here the necessity for this equivalent circuit of the transformer is that transformer is a single device but it has the two separate electrical circuits and they are connected via a magnetic core. To evaluate the performance of the transformer, then we need a single electrical circuit. So for that purpose, we need equivalent circuit of the transformer. So here, this equivalent circuit obtained in three steps. First, draw the equivalent circuit of the ideal transformer like this. Here, this is the primary electrical circuit and this is the secondary electrical circuit and these vertical lines indicate the core that is magnetic core and here V1 is the applied voltage this is also mentioned with Vp and the here R1 is nothing but primary winding resistance sometimes this is also represented with Rp and I1 is the input current to the primary winding under load conditions and X1 is the primary winding leakage reactant sometimes it is also mentioned as X suffix P and here the I0 is the no load current of the transformer and the no load current components are nothing but the real power loss component IW or IC and this is the IM this is the magnetizing current component that is nothing but IM and uh, it passes through the X0 this is also represented with XM this is the magnetizing reactance and this is the core loss component R0 or or not and the resultant of this IM and IW or IC is nothing but I0 and here the number of turns on primary or N1 and the number of turns on secondary or N2 and the induced EMF in the primary winding we call as E1 whereas the induced EMF in the secondary winding is represented with ET, E2 and R2 is the secondary winding resistance whereas the X2 is nothing but the leakage reactance of the secondary winding Remember here R2 is normally represented with R2 or RS and similarly X2 is represented with XS or X2 and the load terminal voltage is represented with V2 and the load current or secondary current is represented with I2 or IS and here when the secondary current flows through the secondary circuit that is through the load then this produces a flux and that flux opposes the main flux produced by the I1 so that E1 temporarily decreases once E1 decreases means the difference between V1 and E1 increases resulting in more current drawn from the supply that is represented by I1 dash. Once this I1 dash is absorbed by the primary winding, then the original flux is established. So that is why the transformer is called the constant flux device and this I1 dash is called the primary current corresponding to the load current IS and that is opposite to the IS vector and the magnitude of I1 dash depends upon the IS value and uh, turns ratio. So in the ideal equivalent circuit, the turns ratio is mentioned as N2 by N1 and that is also equal to I1 by I2. So for the transformer, secondary parameters are to X2 to transfer from secondary to primary site there should be some base 
to transfer this R2 to the primary site, we have to see that the copper loss in R2 when it is drawing I2 must be equal to the when it draws the current I1 dash. That is the copper loss in the secondary winding is represented with I2 square R2. When the secondary resistance is transferred to the primary site, it is called R2 dash and in the primary site the current that flows through the R2 dash is nothing but I1 dash. So the copper loss in the R2 dash is represented with I1 dash whole square into R2 dash and these copper losses means when R2 dash copper loss should be same when it is transferred from secondary to the primary site like this. But this I1 dash is much much higher than the no load current of the transformer. So normally we can say here I1 dash is approximately equal to I1. So as a result this I1 dash can be replaced with I1 I1 so that we get I1 square into R2 dash is equal to I2 square into R2 and from this the equivalent uh, secondary winding resistance referred to the primary is obtained as R2 dash is equal to I2 square divided by I1 square into R2 and we know K is equal to N2 by N1 and uh, that is equal to I1 by I2 so we can write uh, R2 dash is nothing but I2 by I1 whole square into R2 and this I2 by R I1 can be written as like this R2 dash is equal to 1 by I1 by I2 whole square into R2 and since I1 by I2 is nothing but K so replace this I1 by I2 with K that is R2 dash is equal to 1 by K whole square into R2 so if k is uh, replaced with n1 by n2 or n2 by n1 then we get like this r2 dash is equal to n1 by n2 whole square into r2 that is equal to 1 by k whole square into r2 similarly when the secondary winding leakage reactants x2 is transferred to the primary side the reactive power should also be same so that is we get x2 dash is equal to n1 by n2 whole square into x2 that is 1 by k whole square into x2. Similarly, the secondary terminal voltage when it is transferred to the primary site we call as v2 dash then we say that is n1 by n2 into v2 that is equal to 1 by k into v2. Once R2, X2 dash are calculated, so they can be transferred secondary from secondary side to the primary side like this. This R1, X1, R1, X1 are the primary winding resistance and inductance, I mean inductive reactance. And whereas the secondary winding resistance is transferred to the primary means that becomes here R2 dash and the reactance of the secondary will become R X2 dash like this and they are connected in series. On primary side whereas this R0 X0 remains present in the circuit like this and the voltage across the no load components is nothing but E1 then with this circuit it is not possible to join the primary winding um, impedance and the secondary winding impedance. So to join that those two, so it is better to move this to the supply that is remove from here to the supply terminals because I0 is only 1 to 3 percent of the full load current. So the error introduced by this I0 in the performance calculation of the transformer is negligible. So safely this can be moved from this position to the this position that is like this. Now R1, R2 dash, X1, X2 dash can be connected together and the R1 plus R2 dash is called the 
total resistance of the transformer refer to the primary site and xpt is nothing but the total reactance of the transformer refer to the primary site that is x1 plus x2 dash and uh, still we have the the no load uh, components that is x0 and r0 like this across the supply and supply value is v1 and uh, whereas the secondary side uh, it's only secondary winding available and the voltage across the secondary terminals is nothing but V2 and this is called the approximate equivalent circuit of the transformer. So it's further can be simplified that here I naught is much less value compared to the rated current of the transformer. So this parameter can be removed from the circuit so that the calculations obtained are approximately or uh, the same means it does not lose much accuracy that means the error is very less in that case the circuit will become RPT, XPT and these are the terminals of the primary I mean winding terminals and here the secondary winding and then this circuit is called the simplified electrical circuit simplified equivalent circuit of the transformer and here uh, RPT is nothing but R1 plus R2 dash and XPT is nothing but X1 plus X2 dash and R0 is nothing but uh, we can calculate using this circuit here that is E1 by R0 will give the IC value and E1 by X0 will give the IM. So that is written here like this. And since we know the input current to the transformer is nothing but I1 is equal to I0 plus I1 dash. So here we obtained the secondary winding parameters R2, X2 transferred to the primary side. So that is the equivalent circuit of the transformer referred to the primary is obtained by calculating R2 dash and X2 dash 